Hello, my name is David Schwer. I'm a student at Point Loma Nazarene University, and this is my research proposal. It is called Retention Revisited. My area of focus is retention or retaining students and not socially promoting them. This has been a hot topic for debate among parents and administration in my district. Parents have been wanting to retain their children for social and academic reasons while the district heavily favors social promotion. With COVID-19 happening and regression and learning loss at an historic highs, I am seeking to find if this policy, if our district's policy is effective and it is benefiting students. The significance of this study is to give a fresh perspective on the rationale, opinions, and viewpoints surrounding the district's retention policy. It is also to provide up-to-date data for the policymakers to do what's best for the student for for doing what's best for student outcomes. My research objective is to gather opinions and viewpoints of these policymakers and their influencers on their retention policies within a small rural district in San Diego. The No Child Left Behind Act of 2001 instituted increased academic standards and academic accountability, meaning that these students would have to hit certain tests and pass them to move on to the next grade level. With COVID happening, these, these standards are harder and harder to hit. One study that occurred in 2015 by Woodworth showed that online learning online learning schools had a slower and weaker growth rate for students compared to their in brick and mortar counterparts in brick and mortar counterparts other studies further showed substantial negative effects socially and academically for students who were retained last there are links between human capital accumulation and earning prospects via Parachi the human capital theory states that educational attainment increases cognitive skills and these cognitive skills are factors in the labor market. The factors include productivity and earning prospects. So the longer you're out of school, the less productive and the less you're earning. My participants include 10 to 15 participants within my district. They are the upper upper echelon of administration, the school board members, and senior teachers. Most of them live within the district. Most are Caucasian, affluent, and over 50. My data analysis is two-pronged. First is a quantitative data in the form of a Google's form. This will be given via Zoom. I'm sorry, Google Forms. It's on a Likert scale. This will be the base for my statistical analysis. The second prong of my data analysis is qualitative data in the form of an interview with open-ended questions. These two datas will be analyzed to find correlations and patterns. My ethical considerations include everything occurring digitally due to COVID. My interviews will be over Zoom and Google Forms will be filled out anonymously and independently, confidentially and independently. All files will be kept on a password encrypted file so everything can be kept confidential. The limitations to my study include a small sample size. They also include a homogeneous group with many of the same characteristics, which might make it not applicable or generalized to other settings. Thank you for listening. I hope you found my presentation interesting. Have a wonderful day.